Because of Winn-Dixie, Chapter 14. Sometimes I told Gloria the story Miss Franny Block had just told me, or I imitated Otis tapping his pointy-toed boots and playing for all the animals, and that always made her laugh. And sometimes I made up a story, and Gloria Dump would listen to it all the way through from beginning to end. She told me she used to love to read stories, but she couldn't anymore because her eyes were so bad. Can't you get some really strong glasses? I asked her. Child, they don't make glasses strong enough for these eyes. One day, when the storytelling was done, I decided to tell Gloria that Otis was a criminal. I thought maybe I should tell an adult about it, and Gloria was the best adult I knew. Gloria, I said. Mm-hmm, she said back. You know Otis? I don't know him, but I know what you tell me about him. Well, he's a criminal. He's been in jail. Do you think I should be afraid of him? What for? I don't know, for doing bad things, I guess. For being in jail. Child, let me show you something. She got up out of her chair real slow and took hold of my arm. Let's the two of us walk all the way to the back of this yard. Okay, I said. We walked, and when Dixie followed right behind us, it was a huge yard, and I had never been all the way back in it. When we got to a big old tree, we stopped. Look at this tree, Gloria said. I looked up. There were bottles hanging from just about every branch. There were whiskey bottles and beer bottles and wine bottles all tied on with string, and some of them were clanking against each other and making a spooky kind of noise. Me and when Dixie stood and stared at the tree, and the hair on top of his head rose up a little bit, and he growled deep in his throat. Gloria Dump pointed her cane at the tree. What you think about this tree? I said, I, I don't know. What are all those bottles on it? To keep the ghosts away, Gloria said. What ghosts? The ghosts of all the things I'd done wrong. I looked at all the bottles on the tree. You did that many things wrong? I asked her. Mm-hmm, more than that. But you're the nicest person I know, I told her. Don't mean I haven't done bad things, she said. There's whiskey bottles on here, I told her, and beer bottles. Child, I know that. I'm the one who put them there. I'm the one who drank what was in them. My mama drank, I whispered. I know it, Gloria Dump said. The preacher says that sometimes she couldn't stop drinking. Mm-hmm, that's the way it is for some folks. We get started and we can't get stopped. Are you one of those people? Yes, ma'am, I am. But these days, I don't drink nothing stronger than coffee. Did the whiskey and other drinks, did they make you do the bad things that are ghosts now? Well, some of them. And some of them I would always done anyway. With alcohol or without it. Before I learned. Learned what? Learned what's the most important thing. Well, what's that? I asked her. Well, it's different for everyone, she said. You'll find out on your own, but in the meantime, you got to remember you can't always judge people by the things they done. You got to judge them by what they're doing now. You judge Otis by the pretty music he plays and how kind he is to them animals, because that's all you know about him right now, all right? Yes, ma'am, I said. And them Dewberry boys, you try not to judge them too harsh either, all right? All right, I said. All right, then, said Gloria Dump, and she turned and started walking away. When Dixie nudged me with his wet nose and wagged his tail, when he saw I wasn't going, he trotted after Gloria. I stayed where I was and studied the tree. I wondered if my mama, wherever she was, had a tree full of bottles, and I wondered if it was a ghost to her the same way she sometimes seemed like a ghost to me.